knees as wide as the mat or as wide as feels comfortable. We're going to lower the chest the mat, lower the forehead down, but we're going to make it an active pose. So we're lifting your elbows off the mat here. And just spend a few moments getting settled here, making yourself comfortable. Just starting to bring awareness to your breath now. Imagine that every time you exhale, you're letting go of any worries, any stress of yesterday or what might happen tomorrow. And with every inhale, you're bringing yourself to the present moment. Where we're going to spend the next Settling the breath for a few more moments. In through the nose and out through the nose. And then gently, you're gonna walk your hands all the way over to the left hand side of your mat, feeling the stretch in the right hand side of the body. Bringing the hands back into the center, walk them all the way over to the right hand side. And then bringing your hands back into the center, just coming onto your fingertips, really stretching at the top of the shoulders here. And then keeping your fingertips onto the mat, you're gonna inhale to roll yourself all the way up to your tabletop, coming into the correct alignment here by taking the hips just above the knees, shoulders just above the wrists, and just taking a few cat cows here, just beginning to warm the spine, so inhale, drop the chest, look forwards. Exhale, curve the spine, bring the chin to the chest. I'm just taking this a few more times with the rhythm of your own breath here. And then taking any movement here that you desire, any spinal rolls, anything at all. And then, and then when you're ready, we're going to start to stretch the wrist and stretch the toes here. So we're just going to move backwards, stretching the toes and the ankles, and then move forwards, coming over the wrist, getting a good stretch. And just taking this movement a few times here, not rushing, just gently moving. And if you want to go a little bit further with your wrist stretch, and if it's available, you can begin to bring the wrists inwards, to so coming all the way over them and then gently bringing them back. Being a deeper stretch down the inside of the wrists. So not forcing the hands to go back here, only do it if it's comfortable. And then when you're ready, come back into your tabletop. Just quickly checking our down dog before we come into our first or core exercises. So tuck those toes, gonna lift the hip bones into the sky, coming into your down dog, so rounding the top of the shoulders here. And then start to pedal one leg, pedal another. Take some gentle movements here, maybe bringing the ankles to one side, to the other. Anything that you like, it's your practice, whatever feels good for you. And then when you're ready, gently release the knees down, coming back into your tabletop position. So as this is a core vinyasa, we're going to start to really warm up here. And what I'd like to stress the most for this practice is letting go of any judgment towards yourself. So I don't mean in terms of fitness, I mean in terms of body image. So when you do core stuff, obviously, you're engaging your stomach muscles, you're engaging that core all the way from here, all the way up is your core. And 
you're gonna get belly rolls. It's literally just a fact, we humans, when we do core exercises, we get belly rolls. So I do not want you to fret about it at all. Do not even worry about it. Let go of that ego, let go of that negative maybe body image that you have towards yourself. We're just gonna have fun, we're all gonna get a little bit sweaty and we're not gonna care. So when you're ready, coming into a tabletop, I'm just gonna begin the first exercise. It's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna stretch out the right leg all the way back and as you exhale, I'm gonna bring it into the nose and then take it back out. So inhale and exhale to the nose. Inhale out, exhale to the nose. We do this 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Relaxing the right knee down, we're gonna take it on the left side. So really start to feel that fire burn, that internal heat starting. So when you're ready, stretching out the left leg. Inhale, and exhale, bring it into the chin. And inhale, take it back. For one, for two, for three, four, five, six, seven, nine whew, and ten relaxing the knees down taking a little bit of movement here you become back on your toes over on your wrists whew, and then this time we're going to add a little bit more so we're going to keep progressing today <laughs> until we get to some final poses where we're really going to engage that core like boat pose so when you're ready taking back the right leg and this time, you're gonna bend the right knee so it touches. So this time, you're gonna stretch out your right leg and you're gonna bend the knee so it touches the outside of the right tricep. And back out, and again, we're gonna take this 10 times. So when you're ready, for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, Ooh, you've got this guys. Eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Straight away, go to the other side. Stretch out the right leg, left leg. So for one, for two, for three, for four, for five, for six. Oh, really feel that burn. For seven. For eight, for nine, whew, and for ten. Beautiful. Relaxing your knees down, coming back up, taking a few wrist rolls here, so moving the wrist in one direction, moving them in another. And then taking the hands all the way overhead, going to interlock the fingers, push them all the way up to the sky. And then we're just going to tip all the way over to the left hand side, into the centre, over to the right. Into the centre, push the hands forward, curve the spine here, and then bring your chest through as you take the arms back up to the sky. Beautiful. Relax the hands down, a few final wrist rolls here, and come back into our tabletop. So again, we're going to test our core here and we're going to test our balance. So it doesn't matter if you fall, I'm waiting for myself to fall, but we're just going to have some fun here. So when you're ready, Tucking those back toes give you a little bit more support. You're going to stretch out the right leg and you're going to stretch out the left arm. And instead of bringing elbow to meet knee, we're going to bend the left leg, taking it out of the side, flex the foot, and then bend that arm, bringing it into almost a cactus arm. And back out. So we're going to do this 10 times. When you're ready, for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, it's hard. Nine and ten. Beautiful. And then 
we can immediately take it onto the other side. So stretching out the left leg, taking out the right arm. And then for 10 times, we're gonna bend the knee, flex the foot, bend the arm for one, for two, engage that core, guys, you got this, for three, for four, Ooh, that's hard. for five, for six, for seven, for eight, for nine, for 10, beautiful. Bringing those big toes together, relaxing down into your child's pose. Keeping those elbows off the ground. Just staying here for a couple of breaths before we come deeper into the flow. Just staying here for one more breath. And then when you're ready, bringing yourself back and take a top. Engaging that core, lifting the hip bones to the sky, then tuck the toes and come into your down dog. Pedaling one leg and pedaling another. I'm going to come into some little balances here on this down dog. So when you're ready, you can come onto the fingertips of your left finger. Maybe onto one finger. Or engage the core and maybe lift the left hand all the way up to the sky. Maybe you can start to take the right leg all the way up to the sky. We're bringing the right leg down, taking the left hand down. And then try on the other side. So coming onto the fingertips of the right hand, maybe one finger. Maybe you take the right hand all the way up to the sky and maybe, oh, I don't know if I can do it, but maybe you can lift your left leg all the way into the sky. Oh, I don't think I can do it on that side. Ooh. Holding here, <laughs> back into your down dog, rolling into your plank, holding your plank for one, for two, and for three. Dropping those hips, come into your floating dog, relaxing those toes, pushing into the tops of your feet, and then rolling over those toes, come back to your down dog. Staying in your down dog for a couple of breaths. Feeling strong, feeling rooted here. And then when you're ready, you're gonna bring the big toes to touch. And you're gonna sweep your right leg all the way into the sky, coming onto your tippy toes and left foot, and then bending this knee, open this hip to the side. Inhale, and exhale, bring that knee all the way into the chest. Step forward and come into your low lunge, so lowering the back knee, inhale. Take the arms all the way up to the sky and exhale. Taking the hands into your chest, you're going to twist over to the right hand side and engage in this core, engage in the quads here. So when you're ready, lift up that back knee and then inhale. Going to move to your high lunge, holding here. And again, we're going to interlock those fingers, pushing the hands up to the sky, bending into that front knee. And you're going to move over to the left hand side, into the center the right, into the center, pushing those hands forward, curving the spine, and then pushing the hand up to the sky, open the chest here, before relaxing the hands down, taking the right hand up the sky, and if you like, you can move in to your side plank here, holding here, for relaxing the hand down, coming into your plank, and again, we're going to drop those hips, come to float and jog, Lower and tuck the toes, sorry, pushing in to the tops of your feet. And then roll over the feet, come back into your down dog. Oh. I'm thinking Pringles before for yoga flows, not a good idea. But when you're ready, bring in the big toes touch. You're going to sweep the left leg all the way into the sky, coming onto the chippy toes of the right foot. And then bend the left knee, opening up into split dog. Inhale. And exhale, bring that knee into the chest. Step through into your low lunge. So inhale, take the hands all the way up to the sky. And exhale, bringing the hands into prayer and twist over the left hand side. Tucking those back toes, engaging the core and lifting the back leg up to come to high lunge legs. And then when you're ready, inhaling, 
bring the arms all the way up to the sky, bending into that front knee. Then interlock the fingers, pushing the hands all the way up to the sky. And you move over to the left hand side. Into the centre, over to the right. Into the centre, pushing the hands forward, curving the spine. And then bringing those hands back up to the sky, opening the chest before releasing both hands down, leaving the right hand to the mat. You're going to sweep the left hand up the sky. And if you like, you're going to move into your ooh, side plank, holding here. Before releasing the left hand down, coming into your plank. And this time you're going to take a vinyasa. So coming onto your tippy toes, bending the elbows close to the body, and then pushing up into your upward dog. Relaxing the toes down and move back to your child's pose. Catching your breath here. Core is never easy. Oh, it never is, but it's so good for us. It really starts to build stability and balance and grounding in our practice when we have a good core and it really helps us kind of advance to maybe for expression of some beautiful poses. So this is why we do it. So don't worry if you can feel that bit. I can feel it too. Ooh. So before we lose the tail heat, we come into the next flow. So when you're ready, push into those hands, curve in the spine all the way up, tuck those toes, engage the core and lift the hip bones into the sky, come into your down dog. And bring in the big toe to touch, you're going to sweep left, the right foot all the way into the sky, coming onto the tippy toes of your left foot, and bend this knee, opening up your split dog. And we're going to add a little bit of exercise here, obviously. So what are you going to do? You're going to inhale, and exhale, bring that knee into the chest and hold. And then take it back up the sky, bend this knee, split dog. And this time I'm going to bring the right knee to the right tricep, and hold before taking it all the way back into the sky, bend this knee. And then this time I'm going to bring the right knee to the left tricep and hold. You can take it back up to the sky or you can take the leg all the way through, coming into a fallen triangle. If you want to go a bit further, maybe you lift the leg off the floor, holding here, and then keeping this leg off the floor, you're going to place your left hand back down and come back into your three-legged dog. Woo! Feel that core. And then bending the knee into the chest. Feel a step forward. Inhaling straight Ooh, up into our high lunge. Bending into that front knee. Inhale. And on your exhale, don't pivot that back foot. Moving to warrior two. Bending the right arm, top of your knee. You're going to open up your left arm all the way up the sky, opening the chest here. And then keeping your gaze up the sky. You're going to take the left arm straight, straightening out the right leg. And move to your triangle pose. Mm. Breathing here, opening your chest, taking your head back to look back at your fingers. And then bending that front knee, move back into your warrior two. Moving forward the palm, flip it, and you're going to move back into your reverse warrior. Beautiful. And then gently move back into your warrior two. Windling the hands all the way down. You're going to leave the left hand to the mat, taking the right hand up the skirt. And if you like, you can step back all the way in to your side plank. Or if you have wild things in practice, you can take your right leg behind and come into wild thing, opening up here, before engaging that core, moving the body all the way back to plank, holding your plank, and then lowering your hips to floating dog, untucking those toes, pushing into the tops of your feet, and then tuck those toes, move back to your down dog, before you take this float on the other side. So, using all this internal fire created, all this yoga energy, you've got this. We've just got to get through this flow. And we're getting one step closer to Shavasana, guys, so we can do this. So bring in your big toes, touch, then sweep the left leg all the way into the sky. Bending this knee, come to split dog. And then you're going to bring this knee into the chest and hold. 
So we're taking it all the way back up to the sky, bending the knee, come back in the split dog. And then you're gonna bring the left knee to the left tricep. And hold. We're taking it back up the sky, split dog. And then left knee, right tricep, and hold. And you can take it back up the sky, or you can come into your fallen triangle on the other side. Maybe staying here, maybe lifting your right leg, your left leg, sorry, into the sky. And then taking your hand down. Ooh, move back to your three leg dog. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm sweating. And then bending the knee, bringing the knee all the way into the chest. And step forward into your high lunge. Ooh, bending into that front knee, staying strong here. Inhale and exhale. Move into your warrior two. Beautiful. Bending the left arm, top of the left knee. We're gonna sweep the right arm all the way up to the sky. Opening up this chest here. And then straightening out the right arm. We're gonna gently begin to straighten out the left leg, coming into your triangle pose. Taking your gaze up to the fingers, opening up here. Beautiful. Whew, we've got this, guys. And then bending that front knee, move back to warrior two. Moving forward, flipping the palm and move into a reverse warrior. Feeling so strong in these front legs. You're engaging those quads, you're feeling so strong and stable. And then briefly move back to warrior two. Full windmill, the hands all the way down, leaving the right hand down, taking the left hand up to the sky. Move into your side plank. And if you like, and you have wilding, in your practice, you can take the left leg over and come into wild thing. Opening up here and engaging all that core, flipping back into your plank. And this time we're going to take a vinyasa, coming on the tippy toe, elbows in, lower the chest, push into your upward dog, and then lower the chest all the way down. Woo! Feeling that energy. So beautiful. It's what we search for in Vinyasa. Doesn't matter if you feel your muscles being, maybe a little bit breathless. You're starting to sweat. That's good. It means we're working, and trust me, I'm there every step of the way with you feeling this burn. Questioning why I did a core Vinyasa. Oh. Just take a moment here, just close the eyes. Just bringing your full awareness to your breath. One more flow to do before we start to cool down. So before we lose internal heat, all this beautiful yoga energy that we've created, you're going to bring your forehead into the mat, you're bringing your hands next to your chest, you're going to inhale, the upward dog, and then rolling those toes, you're going to move straight back into your down dog. Oh, feeling so strong here. And then when you're ready, bring the big toes touch. Sweeping the right leg all the way into the sky, bending this knee. Gonna bring the knee into the chest. And this time we're gonna step all the way through to our high lunge. So inhale, take the arms overhead. And exhale, move into your warrior two. Beautiful. Holding here, bending a little bit more into your front knee. Holding here, feeling that burn in your quads, you've got this. And then when you're ready, move the palm forward, you're gonna flip it and move back to your reverse warrior. So bending the arm behind the back, open the chest here. Keeping that front knee bent, really feeling the bend. And then move back 
into your warrior two. And then bending the right arm on top of the right knee, gonna open up with your left hand all the way up to the sky. And you wanna make it a little bit harder. Gonna reach forward with your right hand, almost if you wanna grab something, bending further into that front knee. Holding here. Got this. For gently opening up that left knee and moving to triangle pose. Beautiful. Holding here. And then bending that front knee, move back briefly into warrior two. For extending the front leg, bringing both feet parallel. Gonna pivot the feet. You're gonna pivot the left foot facing forward again, bending into your warrior two here. Maybe walking the front foot out a little bit, holding here. And then moving forward into your reverse warrior, bending further into this front knee. Do not escape this touch, you wanna feel that burn. Moving back briefly into warrior two. I'm gonna bend the left elbow, top of the left knee, taking the right arm all the way up the sky. Stay here. Or if you want to go a bit further, you can stretch out your left arm, really engaging the core here, feeling that burning sensation. Holding here. We're straightening out that front leg and moving into your triangle. Bending the front knee, coming back to warrior two, and then bring both feet parallel. Oh, so when you're ready, inhale, pick the arm up the sky, come into the knee back bend, and then exhale, taking the hands all the way down to the mat, pivoting on your front toes while keeping your heels down to get a little bit more flexibility, mobility in the hips. Gently rocking from side to side here. And if you have it in your practice for a tripod headstand, you can try it now. But if you've never done it before, then I recommend just listening quite closely. So what you're gonna do is create a triangle shape in the mat. So you're gonna take your head right into the mat here. Hands are next to each other, you're bending the elbows, relaxing the head down, finding this flat part, really engaging the elbows, move onto the tippy toes. And then if you like, you can come into your egg pose of so bringing one knee onto the elbow, bringing the other. And then if you engage that core, you might be able to lift all the way up. Holding here. For flexing the feet, engaging that core and gently bringing your feet down. Woo! Take a moment here. Bring in the left hand into the mat. You're gonna sweep up and take your right hand up to the sky. Taking the right hand down, sweep the left hand up to the sky here. Taking both hands into the mat, bending the knees, taking the hands and the hips, gonna lift the body all the way up, tiptoeing the feet all the way in, and then coming back to the top of your mat. Inhale, keep the arms all the way overhead, and exhale, swan dive into your forward fold. Bending those knees a little bit, taking your hands to the mat. And if you'd like, you can take hold of each elbow, coming into your ragdoll. We're gently placing the hands flat into the mat. You're gonna walk, step, jump back, but first inhale, straighten the back. Next, exhale, bend those knees, come back into your plank, and take your vinyasa, pushing into your upward dog, maybe checking the left leg, checking the right, and move back to your child's pose. Coming into our final 
little correct size when we really start to pull down. So coming into our boat pose. So gently inhale to bring the body all the way back up. Taking a few cat cows here. So inhale, drop the chest, look forwards. Exhale, curve that spine. And taking a few movements here. We're gently crossing the legs. Come back into a seated down. Sitting down, a, a sitting down position. A seated position. A seated position. You can take your feet forward, come in and sit in your sit bones. And we're going to have some fun with our boat pose. If you practice me frequently, you know that boat pose is my arch nemesis. I'm going to get through this. So when you're ready, you're going to roll back those shoulders, taking your hands underneath your knees. You're going to lift those knees all the way up into the sky here, taking the arms out. And we're going to hold this pose for one, for two, for three. Four, lifting those feet guys, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Taking the knees down. Okay, wasn't too bad, so I think we're gonna up it. So when you're ready, come back into your boat pose, taking the arms out, and this time we're gonna tap our toes for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh. Ooh. Just one more round, guys. So when you're ready, lifting those shoulders back, so round the shoulders back, lifting those knees up to the sky, taking your hands to heart centre, and keeping your knees where you are, you're gonna start to tap from side to side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to centre, keep your legs where they are. Take your arms out and start to relax back. Slowly, slowly, going back up one inch, lower two, all the way back up to the top. Lower, lower, oh all the way down, Woo. bringing both of these into the chest here, just rocking from side to side, Woo. and we're going to relax the spine after all this hard core work, so coming into our happy baby, you can take your hands underneath your knees, separating them here, or if you have it in your practice, you can take the outside of the feet, straightening out the arms and bring the knees closer to you. Just staying here for a few more moments, cool down, ensuring that we're pressing that lower spine into the mat to really create length. Still feeling that feeling in our muscles, which is amazing. It means we worked hard. And just get excited, think that all the hard work you put into your core now, the more stable your poses will be, Ugh, the more confident you'll feel in your practice. You'd be so surprised how much you pour, you gain from yoga, no matter what you do, no matter what kind of vinyasa or style of yoga you do, it's very incredible. And gently bring the feet together, bring the knees together, Allow the knees to fall all the way over to the right hand side, taking your arms into a T-shape and taking your gaze over to the left. And then bring those knees into the centre, allow them to fall to the opposite side, switching your gaze. Bring those knees into the centre and allow them to relax all the way 
to the floor, coming into the final pose of Shavasana, taking your hands down by your side, closing the eyes. Can let out all this internal heat now by inhaling through the nose and with a great big sigh let it out through the mouth. And just resume that normal breathing. And now imagine your core, you're imagining all that fire you created in your belly all those muscles that you worked. Imagine now that you're moving all that yoga energy from your belly all the way up to your chest, to your heart, turning that yoga energy into fire in your everyday life, into positive thinking, positive actions like sunshine surrounding you. Just keeping our concentration on that beautiful feeling of that positive energy, the energy that you created in this flow, traveling all up and down your body, but glowing so strongly in your heart. Spend a few more moments here, embracing this feeling. And then when you're ready to come out of the pose, out of Shabbatana, back into the reality, and bend the elbows, taking the hands all the way overhead, giving yourself a beautiful full body stretch, stretching out any remaining tension or stress, and then bending all the knees, bending another, bring both into your chest, lifting the shoulders, lifting the head, giving yourself a well deserved hug. Fall gently rolling to one side and slowly bringing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Taking hands into Namaste in the center of your chest. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. And I hope you will remain inspired by the magic and fire of yoga. Namaste.